Today I am outside showing you how to take your plants from this to this. Good evening everybody. This is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead and today we're going to talk about several different types of plant foods to boost the growth of your vegetables. On our homestead, we try to use natural and organic products. Three of these items I use on my seedlings. The other three I use on my plants. So we're going to talk about each one. One is banana peel tea. The other one is Fox Farm Grow Big Plant Food. And the last one is rabbit poop. Here are some of my tomatoes that are in various growing stages. So you're going to see some tiny ones. You're going to see some big ones, but they have just started. The funny thing is, when I was a new homesteader about 30 years ago, I didn't use any plant foods. I didn't use any products, and my plants grew very well. But over the last several years, I started experimenting with different organic plant foods. And what I found was they definitely boost the production of my vegetables. The first one is banana peel tea. And this one is so easy. Any of you can do this. Bananas are loaded with potassium and potassium helps your vegetables grow strong. To make this tea, all you need are organic bananas. And so I was able to get a bunch of those this week at Aldi. They are very inexpensive there. So I ate the bananas and then I put the peel in a jar of water. It is that easy. I'm letting this tea brew outside for several days. These bananas, they're turning kind of brownish. That is fine. It does not smell. I have it in a jar with a lid. And in a few days, I'm going to strain the liquid, put the peels themselves in my compost bin, and pour the liquid onto my seedlings. This tea promotes leaf growth and strong stems. This next one I have mentioned several times because I absolutely love it. And it is called Grow Big, and it is by Fox Farm. This one for your seedling uses so little. It uses half a teaspoon per one gallon of water. I use this water twice a week. I do it on Wednesdays, which was today, and on the weekend. And I have seen major growth on all of my seedlings. Once I plant my seedlings into the garden, I will not be using actually either the Fox Farm or the banana tea. I will be switching to something different. And the third one is rabbit poop. Rabbit poop is safe to put directly around your plants. This one is a potato plant in a bucket and I am able to put the rabbit poop right in there and it will slowly break down. And if you see some sunflowers and some grass in there, that is because my rabbits were eating sunflowers and grass and the grass fell down below and the sunflowers are just the outside shell. So they will not grow sunflowers in my potato patch. Rabbit poop is a cool manure, which means you can put it directly around your plants. Um, examples of hot ones would be a cow manure, pig manure, horse manure. Those you want to compost for a year, but you do not need to do that with rabbits. It can directly go onto your garden. The next three plant foods or fertilizers I use once my plants are in the garden. All three of these are organic. So the first one is Burpee's Natural and Organic Tomato and Vegetable Plant Food. Then I have another one, Echo Scraps for Organic Gardening. This one I love. This one's for your herbs and leafy greens. And then the last one is Dr. Earth's Premium Gold Organic and Natural Blend All-Purpose Fertilizer. Each one of these provides something different that your plants need. The Burpee one for tomatoes and vegetables is very similar to the Fox Farm one that I use. 
And I use this once I get those plants, the transplants into my garden. And so I will take a tablespoon and mix it into a gallon of water. And then I will pour it onto those plants and it's going to make them stronger. Now it says to establish transplant and promote fuller growth, use two tablespoons until the new growth appears. This Echo Scraps is one that I absolutely love for my herbs and leafy greens, such as lettuce and spinach. Uh, this one grows in your gardens and it is five, four, five. This product is granular. So when I am planting those transplants, I am going to sprinkle this on top, work it on in, and then plant my leafy greens. Once my little plants have taken off, that's when I switch to the all-purpose fertilizer. This one you use once every two months. All three of these fertilizers and plant foods provide nitrogen and most gardens are lacking nitrogen and it helps your plants to grow strong and fruitfully. One mistake that I find newbies tend to do is they try to over fertilize their new plants. These guys uh, are just a couple weeks old. This is broccoli and cauliflower. You don't want to feed them these powerful fertilizers every day. It's going to cause them to turn yellow. And actually, um, they can be burned and they can die quickly. You've got to follow the directions. And that is why I truly start very simple. I start with my banana tea and my fox farm because they are gentle. They are just barely adding nutrients to the soil. That was a really quick run through of the different plant foods and fertilizers that I use on my homestead. As I said, I try to stick to organic. I know that Fox Farm is not, but they are definitely a superior product, so I do use those. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. And remember, you can't do everything in one day, but you can just do something. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.